When it comes to home recording, most people just settle on using GarageBand on their Mac. And GarageBand is actually really good, but if you don't have a Mac, it might be hard to find software for recording that isn't overly expensive. So today, we'll be looking at the free software Audacity and discussing, is it good enough to do some decent home recording? Alright, so taking a look at the actual user interface for Audacity, you'll see that it actually looks kind of complex, especially for some free software. Up on the top left, you have your standard play, pause, and record functions, and underneath that you'll find some settings for your input and output that, unlike GarageBand, are actually easily accessible. And on the top right, you'll find some stuff that's usually reserved for the edit menu, like cut and copy. And it's actually surprisingly nice to have them up there. And those are some of the things I find myself using most on the upper portion of Audacity's user interface. Now, taking a look at the drop-down menu for Audacity, you'll find all the regular stuff, but with the interesting inclusion of effects. Now, under the effects menu, you'll see some pretty interesting stuff, but unfortunately, a lot of it really won't come to that much practical use in actual recording. Most of it is really just for fun, but I'm sure if you're creative enough, you could find some good uses for most of them. And you might be wondering, why are they all grayed out? Do you have to buy them? Well, no. To use them, you actually have to highlight the part of the track that you want to use. Speaking of which, let's get on to track editing. Now, here's the track itself. Now, obviously, it usually would be much longer and would actually show the wavelength, but I just recorded some blank audio just for demonstration purposes. Now, over on the left, you'll see a simple but actually quite intuitive functions for some simple editing, like mute, solo, some gain, and also the left and right toggle. It's simple, but it works. Now, actual editing is as simple as highlighting the part you want, go up to the top right, and choose cut, paste, copy, mute, or mute everything else. For demonstration, let's just say you wanted to pick cut. You simply click the scissor button you saw before, and watch the part you selected go away. So, Will Audacity work for your home recording? Functionality-wise, probably yes. It should probably be able to do everything you want. Yeah, it might not have as many special fancy effects as GarageBand, but it really should have enough. The only issue I really have with Audacity is sometimes, on some versions of it, when you overlap tracks, they won't exactly line up even if you play them perfectly. Now, that's only an issue I have with some versions of Audacity, so... If one version you get isn't working, usually there is a different one you could try. Now, I've only ever heard of free versions of Audacity, so if you do come across a paid one, I can't vouch for it. I can only vouch for the free ones, and from what I could tell, they are safe. So, thank you for watching, and I hope this helped.